hello hello my beautiful supporters on youtube welcome back to another video today this reading i'm doing today is going to be or right now for the beautiful courageous and also charming sign of cancer <laughs> You know, when I go in on um, a long description, that's because I really like, I'm fond of the sign. And this is my sign, 6-9, period. No, not Takashi. But um, shout out to all my cancers that's up here. Yo, if you're not a cancer, keep scrolling. And if you're trying to snoop on a cancer, then kick off your shoes and relax your feet. <laughs> because we about to get into the meat of this reading. This reading. I'm goofy, period. I'm really goofy for my cancers because I understand. My cancers understand my goofy side more than anybody is because cancers are goofy. But only when we're comfortable, mostly. But anyway, let's jump into this reading. Let's not take too long. Um, anything that resonates with you, cancer, you know, take it. If it doesn't resonate, leave it behind because it's not for you. It's for another cancer. <laughs> um, but, you know, take what does resonate. Something in this reading will resonate for you. Um, also, please give this video a thumbs up and comment below because I want to see how many cancers is out there on my channel. Like, how many of my followers are cancers? Like, I really need to know. Like, I need to connect with my cancers. <laughs> Let me stop being cringy. I hope y'all all feeling good today because I'm feeling really good. Oh, okay. So, let's see. What's the basis of the reading for cancer? Nothing is yet set in stone and bring love into the situation, Cancer. Okay, so this is the basis of our reading today. I'm saying our because I'm a Cancer too. <laughs> but nothing is yet set in stone. This is the mutable moon and it's showing up in reverse. So um, we probably don't feel like that though. We feel like something is set in stone, Cancer. You feel like something is set in stone or something is blocking you from realizing that nothing is yet set in stone. Nothing in life is set in stone. Just let's start there. Let's clear the air. Let's begin there. Nothing... Nothing in life is set in stone. Even the stones ain't set in stone because they could be crushed into smaller particles and or built into greater things like a building. So, you know, nothing is set in stone. Just know that. You need to know that, Cancer. I know we be having a hard time knowing that sometimes. I definitely do. But nothing is set in stone. So um, just know whatever it is that you focused on right now, you still have the ability to influence it to become something different or greater. But bring love into the situation, Cancer. This is super important. We have to bring love because Cancer, sometimes we can be toxic. Uh-uh. I know a lot of toxic Cancers, honestly. And I be toxic myself sometimes. That's why I say we. I ain't trying to exclude nobody. <laughs> but uh, we got to bring love into the situation. Whatever situation at hand that we're, you know, worried or concerned about right now, Cancer, bring love into the situation with your family, friends, work life. Bring love into the situation, whatever the situation is for you. But, um, yeah, shout out to all my Cancers. Let's see what's the, ooh, let's see what's the first card popping up for us because something flipped already. What we got to flip it for? Let me make sure. Okay, there we go. Ooh, I love this. This is a great start. Cancer. Let me just make sure nothing else flipped. I just had to make sure nothing else flipped. Okay, we good. So, yo, Cancer. First card is the child, a.k.a. the magician, Um, depending on what deck you pull from. This is my Patch Tarot deck. I love this deck, the Spirit Science deck. But, yeah, y'all go check it out. Um, I might start leaving the links to my decks in my description so y'all can check that out if y'all really care. But okay, so look, y'all, the child pops up first. So this is speaking to any cancer children that's watching this. Hey, shout out to my cancer children. But to my cancers with children too, um, this card is popping up. Emphasis on the child in you, the inner child, or either your children right now. Pay attention to the endless possibilities. Like there are, the possibilities are endless in life and your children are pure. And you also have a child aspect of you um you still have a, a piece of innocence inside of you aka your child aspect your soul and when you tap into that cancer yeah this is what bringing love into the situation to do you be the child the possibilities is endless for the child it's just like <clears throat> any child most children in life <clears throat> They feel like the possibilities are endless. Why? Because they're fresh. They're starting new. This card represents a brand new start, a fresh new start. You have a lot of time to do what you need to do. But right now, some intolerance is getting in the way of you realizing your childlikeness or your love. What's getting in the way right now, what's making you hard right now is your intolerance, Cancer. You need to soften up, okay, and understand that everybody's taking different paths. Spiritually, you might be waking up right now 
and other people ain't waking up like you or people just might not be believing the same stuff that you believe in because this card is about beliefs and um the hierophant the hierophant is like a uh, individual who is really spiritually enlightened with a lot of wisdom and knowledge and that's you representing you but when it's in reverse it's talking to your intolerance for whatever it is if it's just other people with opposing views you know you gotta let people have their views you have yours too and your views are what's going to create your life and their views are what's going to create their life so you know everybody's entitled to their views cancer remember that like, there's nothing that you can do about somebody else's beliefs. If they want to believe something, then that's on them. Don't let that get in the way of your possibilities, though. Don't let that block you from your innocence and your loving nature, Cancer. Because, you know, we are loving, but we be hard. We be going into our shell. But what? To protect ourselves? Of course. But, you know, intolerance is definitely like, look, we got to be able to tolerate these folks that ain't as wise as us. Look, <laughs> they ain't as woke as us. It's OK. It's all right. Um, But look right here. Capricious is like when you are not really realizing all of the supporters or resources that you have. Um, Prince of Swords is... <laughs> The Prince of Thoughts, he's like really fast, quick. When he's this way, he's out of balance. So it's like you might be moving too fast before you like... This card represents you taking a leap before you really take time to plan. It's like you need to take time to plan things out before you just jump into stuff because you could hurt people. You see this, this is the sword of creation, your thoughts, representing your thoughts. And this is the scythe of destruction, representing our actions. So when we bring our thoughts into reality, we have to destroy old to bring in new, you know, but you want to be balanced. And this is talking about you balancing your life through um, your thoughts, your emotions, your life on earth, and your passion, your spirit. That's what these elements represent. <clears throat> So, or it could just represent people in your life. You know, somebody that's really emotional, somebody that's really grounded, somebody that's really spiritual and fired up. Um, you know, you just got to make it make sense for you, however it means to you. But this card is showing an imbalance subconsciously that needs to be resolved, Cancer. Also, the Princess of Wands showing up in the past as enthusiastic because we are enthusiastic and we are super fired up individuals the princess of wands you like it's nothing that you could tell her she's super enthusiastic and happy about who she is and what she got going on but um you know the queen of cups this is our card oh my god cancer so let's look at on this chart i have this chart right and we uh, this card let me show y'all the chart so y'all can see it for yourself the queen of cups is literally our card on the cancer sign you see, so shout out to everybody whose birthday is between June 21st and July 21st. Oh, happy birthday. Today is the last day of cancer. How can I forget that? Oh my gosh. Happy birthday if it's your birthday today and if you're watching this today. But yes, the Queen of Cups is our card, y'all. So this card is like us consciously right now. Cancer, you are conscious of the fact that we reflect other people's emotions back to them. Like when somebody is rude to us, then we're rude back a lot of the times. Or when they're nice to us, then we're nice back. Or we're, we can easily show people what they're doing, but we lose ourselves in the process of being so reflective. You know, we lose ourselves and we forget to take care of ourselves. That's the biggest issue for the Queen of Cups energy is like you so focused on other people and what they got going on in their life and how they maneuvering that you forget to take care of your own self. And that's that's one of the unhealthy traits of the Queen of Cups. But you also have a lot of control over your emotions when the Queen, is, when the Queen of Cups is upright. So know that also you got to abstain from a few things on this earth right now cancer this is the obstinate card either you need to abstain or you're going to abstain i think you need to abstain in the near future you just got to hold back a little bit you got to hold back instead of like bringing so much out and pushing so much out abstain a little bit like this is the princess of or the prince of discs the prince of discs is always eager to plan but um it's like this you know you want to take some time to plan you definitely want to plan before you move forward like like really plan before you move forward because that's what this card was speaking to as well um the imbalance is showing up there where it's like you're not really planning like you just acting like 
trying to move too fast slow down and think before you um you know before you go rolling out with whatever you're doing cancer because listen i know we are tenacious but it can get us in trouble that tenacity be getting us in trouble sometimes if we not balance you know so just plan and think about what type of beauty you want to bring into this world before you actually do uh, be more pragmatic, Cancer. Also, dejection is speaking to you not... You having low spirits. Right now, your spirit might be a little bit low because of um, whatever this is. Like, you just feeling like you don't have certain things under control. But stop being a control freak, okay? You don't need to be a control freak. Just um, be inspired. Be more inspired by your life and the information that you're receiving right now. And your whole journey as a whole, like the fact that you got endless possibilities, like the fact, <laughs> can't say that you know that, like the possibilities are endless for you. Like you don't have to. <sighs> okay, cancer, closure. You don't right now. Mm, you're getting some sort of closure from your environment or you really need some closure from somebody in your environment, some sort of relationship you've been thinking a lot about and you've been letting them thoughts beat you to freak up. That's why you having these low spirits right here with this dejection. It's your thoughts right now. It's your thoughts about people too. It's like you might be thinking really bad about people and it's eating you alive, but you're coming to this closure where it's like you're softening up and realizing that uh, we just got to move on. Like you got to move on. This is the 10 of swords. This is a completion card. It's like the end of this mental turmoil this cycle of mental abuse you getting closure though and i love that bring more love into the situation cancer right hostility oh my god so hopes and fears you're afraid of hostility or potential struggles in the future but don't be afraid um just know that we don't even have to struggle with one another if we just cooperate with one another this card is like you dealing with a lot of other people like or internal conflict within yourself because that's what i really think it might be you might be afraid uh this is this, this is this mental hostility like cancer it's like hostile like inside why why do you don't fight yourself work together with yourself and when you do that then you'll work together better with others outside in this world too and it'll be less of a struggle for you but that's what's popping up for the hopes and fears but let's see what's the outcome for cancer okay the hangman is popping up So this is like, is this like, no, this is not resurrection, but this is like surrendering. Definitely the hangman is a surrender card. It's like, you have to hold off for a minute, Cancer. I want to see a little bit more about this final outcome card. Hold on, let me shuffle a little bit. It's telling you to surrender right now, Cancer. Surrender to love, bring love into the situation. You see how close it is to that message right there? So that's no coincidence. I don't believe in coincidences as if... Um, because when people say coincidences, they mean, oh, that happened, but that happened for no reason. Like, that's what people mostly mean with coincidence. But to me, coincidence is like two incidences coinciding together with each other. So this is letting you know right now you need to surrender to love so that you can fix this hostility, this internal hostility. And the ace of disc is letting you know, too, that... um is a windfall of abundance coming into your life, an opportunity, a new opportunity for you to create something new, form something new. Any ace is always like the brand new spark of something or the new formation of whatever the suit is. But this suit is your disc. So this is your life on earth. And it's like something new on earth that you're about to create. Something new. It's an opportunity for something new to come into formation on earth for you, Cancer. But you got to surrender first, right? Let's see one more card for um, this. And then we're this is the final one. Introspection. Happy birthday. You know, I had to pull extra cards for y'all because it's your birthday. And it's the final day for Cancer. We got to celebrate. I ain't doing enough readings. <laughs> but, okay. Final card is the moon. It's time for you to look at your dark side, Cancer. There are some dark... This is a dark path that you got to take to be illuminated. Um, in order for us to get to the light at the end of the tunnel, we got to walk through that dark path and do not get distracted by all these things and people. It's like a lot of people that's looking and waiting for you to F, F up, mess up. It's a lot of people in your life that are watching you walk this path and take this path. Um, but 
you really cannot be afraid or else you will get distracted and you can get devoured or you can lose track and lose sight and fall into deeper darkness. Um, but don't forget your purpose here, which is to love. You are the queen of cups, cancer. You are very emotional and you care about people sometimes a little bit too much than you need to. So take some time to care about yourself enough to <sighs> tap into your inner child. You see how your inner child popping up again? Children popping up in this reading. This was the first thing that came up was the child. So your inner child really needs some tending to cancer. And you need to surrender to your inner child and listen to your inner child so that you can bring in these new creations and um, release that hostility within yourself that you've really been trying to work through for a very long time. Let's see what's the lucky number for my beautiful Cancerian sign of cancer. I love y'all. Okay, lucky number <gasps> nine. This is the lucky number nine. Okay, oh, this is the nine, y'all. This is the continuation number. The number nine represents fulfillment. Right now, we are really fulfilled, Cancer. So, and you are wise, okay? You have a lot of wisdom. You have a higher purpose as well. And you are enlightened. So follow your life mission, okay? Follow your life's mission. And you can feel it in your gut. This is your solar plexus message, letting you know to detoxify your life, okay? And let's move forward with greater wisdom that's going to elevate you and those around you. I love you so much, Cancer. If you resonated with this reading, please give it a thumbs up and please comment below um, your favorite part of this video or timestamp a certain point in this video that you want to talk to me about. I love talking to y'all. Let's get this engagement up and I want to connect with my Cancers, period. I'll see y'all in the next reading. Until then, take care of yourself like no one else. Peace.